Hi, my name is Akhilesh Srivastava and in this video I will show you how to create a hybrid mobile app using Ionic Framework and Coldova and by using Coldova uh, command line interface and then importing it into Android Studio to create .apk file uh, which can be installed on any Android phone or it can be also uploaded to Google Play. So now let's start building our app by opening terminal and typing the command Cordova create student book. So this will be the name of the folder uh, which will be created on our computer and then so this is the reverse domain style name of our project. And then the third argument uh, will be the actual display name of our uh, uh, application. Okay, so Cordova has created a new project. Now we will go inside our uh, project and we will now add platform Android. So we will say Cordova platform add Android so this will add Android uh, platform and now we, we also uh, uh, want to have a splash screen um, uh, displayed uh, uh, in our application so for that uh, I can go to ng Cordova and here we have this splash screen plugin so we can copy this and then we can simply paste it here so this screen will add uh, sorry so this plugin will add a splash screen onto our app so if you want to update the splash screen and the icons so for that you have to uh, go inside your uh, application folder in platform androids you will see this rest folder and inside this folder you will find uh, many other folder uh, in which icons and uh, 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 splash screens are stored. So the thing is that uh, there are uh, various uh, uh, tools available by which you can create your own uh, icons and screen. However, uh, Ionic also provide the same. So if you go to their uh, uh, website, so here you can see uh, that in this article you can, you can read uh, how you can create your own uh, splash screens and icons. So I am not going in detail of, of all this because this is not in the scope of this uh, video but this is just for your information if you want uh, you can explore more. After this we will add our application uh, into our asset folder. So this is the student app uh, which is uh, which is built on Ionic framework. So I will copy this and inside our uh, project that is student book if you go inside www folder we will just go and uh, remove all these folders and instead we will paste uh, our application okay so once we have done this we will go to our terminal window and then we will give the command code over build android so this will build our application uh, which we can later import uh, inside Android Studio. Once uh, this is done we will open Android Studio and then we have to click on open existing Android Studio project and then we have to uh, find our project so this is student work then inside platform you will find this Android folder so you have to choose this folder and then your project will be imported to Android Studio so if you click on project so here you will see there are two folders uh, one is Coldova lib and Android so the thing is that all of our uh, application related files are here. Let's uh, run our app onto the Android emulator.
So here you can see that splash screen has uh, came up and uh, our app uh, started to appear on the emulator. So the thing is that you can test your app onto this uh, uh, emulator or if you want to install the apk file onto your phone so for that you have to uh, go inside your project folder and then you have to go to platform and draw it and build so here you will see the output apk so this is the apk uh, that is android uh, debug apk so this apk you can install on our uh, on your phone to test this app if you want to upload your app onto the uh, Google Play, so before that you have to sign your application. Uh, before doing that, uh, you will find one XML dot, uh, sorry, config dot XML uh, file. So you can open with any editor of your choice. So here you can specify the uh, version uh, number of your application, uh, a small description, and also you can update the email and uh, URL of your uh, organization and of course if you want to specify the uh, any name you can uh, you can do that here after that we will move to Android uh, studio to sign our app so for that uh, we will go to build uh, menu and then we will select generate signed APK uh, choose Android and then here we can say create new so so you have to choose a folder so let's keep uh, inside documents so okay and then uh, we have to give the uh, name of the file so uh, let's give app key but it can be any name okay and then you have to give the password so i will just give app one two three four I'm just giving simple uh, password but I would advise you to uh, give strong uh, password when you are uh, uh, signing your app and then we have to give some alias so in in my case I will just say student hyphen book and then we have to give another password so here I can say app one two three four five six same here app one two three four five six and then uh, here we have to give uh, first and uh, last name so here uh, we have to give at least one uh, information so let's give uh, XYZ if you want you can give all the details and then you have to press OK okay and then you have to press next and then you have to press finish so once it is done you will get this message generate uh, signed APK if you uh, go to your folder you will see that uh, uh, the studio has created some more uh, files and this uh, this is the APK uh, which uh, the system has generated that is Android uh, release unaligned dot APK now uh, there is one more step uh, uh, remaining which we have to perform before we can upload our uh, APK onto the Google Play so for that we have to zip align it so zip align is a utility provided by the Android uh, which we have to perform on uh, on any of our application before we can upload into Google Play so that utility can be found uh, uh, inside Android uh, folder so for that uh, So for that I have to go uh, in library, Android, SDK and then build tools. So here you will find this uh, zip line, copy it and then we have to again come back to our uh, uh, application folder. So build APK and then here we have to paste it okay so once we have uh, done this we have to run the following uh, command so 
first thing we have to go inside our apk uh, folder so i think we are inside student book folder okay so we will go cd platforms and then we have to go android and then we have to go build outputs and then we have to go to apk folder okay so once we are in apk folder uh, we have to give the following command let me uh, expand it okay so then we have to give the following command uh, dot slash zip align and then we have to give the option minus v then second option Four, and then we have to give the name of this uh, APK that is the Android release unalign dot APK and then now we have to give the uh, name of our uh, APK file so that will be student book or any uh, name which you want to give okay so once you do this uh, uh, you will see that the zip align uh, utility will create a apk uh, with any name uh, which we want so in in my case it is student book dot apk but in your case it may be your app uh, any any name uh, of your app uh, which you which you want to choose so once you do this uh, you will uh, get this apk so now this uh, apk is uh, sign and it is also zip aligned and now it can be easily uploaded to the Google Play So these were the simple steps by which you can create an installable Android application by using any hybrid mobile application framework and Cordova uh, I hope you might have uh, enjoyed my uh, video If you have any questions, please uh, leave me a comment. Thank you